Hello beautiful traders and investors. Today let's analyze the price chart of the American index Standard & Poor's 500. So this is the monthly chart, this is the current level actually. It is 4382.84. Uh, this is the monthly chart. To some extent we are familiar with the monthly chart of um, Standard & Poor's and actually with the price chart of Standard & Poor's in the different um, in the major time frames because I analyze it at least once or twice a month. Let me remind you that we had a solid price increase. Actually the price started increasing earlier in 2020 when the coronavirus pandemic started and the Central Bank of the United States started printing a lot of money and injecting liquidity into the global financial system. So this is the price increase later in 2021. The Central Bank of the United States or the Federal Reserve announced that they will start tightening the monetary policy and we had this, uh, let's say, the local high started forming. But now let's apply just technical analysis. So here we had, it was in September and October, we had a bullish engulfing. So actually first we had a bearish engulfing, so this was the bearish engulfing. After that the bearish engulfing didn't receive confirmation because in the next month we had a bullish engulfing and the price continued to increase. Then we had another bearish engulfing, so let me show you this one. And it took place actually, this is the candlestick for December and this is the candlestick for January. So we see that the solid candlestick for January completely covered the body of the previous one. However, this candlestick here in January had a very tall lower shadow indicating that the bulls started supporting surprise with, uh, the price within this range. So let me change the color. So within this range, the bull started to support the price. And of course, here we had a bullish engulfing. So uh, that's why probably we had a lot of support here. Then what happened? We had another bearish candlestick. Actually, this bearish candlestick in February had a local high below the previous one and a local low below the previous one. So this was a kind of confirmation of the bearish pressure. But the bulls started supporting the price in March and we had a bullish engulfing. So this is the bullish candlestick with a body covering the body of the previous one with a local high above the previous one. And let's say the local low is probably at the level of the previous one or slightly above that level. And of course, all these candlesticks, they have tall lower shadows indicating that there is a lot of support here and we had a bullish engulfing here. So let me once again highlight this support range. Now we have a bearish candlestick in April. Of course this candlestick is changing till the end of the month. We have enough time. We are close to the middle of the month. Let's see what happens in the near future. But for now we have a bearish candlestick that is challenging the body of the bullish candlestick but it still has a body within the previous one. Also the local low, the current local low is still above the previous one. So I would say that at the moment we have some kind of sandwich candlestick formation and it just confirms uh, it just confirms the consolidation. So according to the monthly chart, let me highlight once again we have a uh, we had a bullish engulfing here, then we had a bearish engulfing, then we had a bullish engulfing here. So once again, this is the bullish engulfing, and once again, these candlesticks there with very tall lower shadow indicating that we have a lot of support here, and now we have a bearish candlestick. So this is some kind of sandwich, and I think that the most likely scenario according to these candlesticks in the near future is continuation of this consolidation of this sideways movement, but this sideways movement could be quite volatile. That's why we have to be really very cautious according to the monthly chart. Now let's have a look at the weekly chart. Okay, this is the weekly chart. This is the solid price increase. Uh, I would like to remind you once again that to some extent this 
solid price increase were triggered by the massive amount of money that uh, were injected during this period of time, 2020 and 2021. Uh, the correction started at the very beginning of this year. We had a bearish engulfing here, then the price started to decline. But recently we had a solid bullish engulfing and a solid rebound took place. However, at the end of this price rebound, a long leg dodge candlestick form or a candlestick similar to a shooting star. So it has a small body and a tall upper shadow. This is a candlestick. Uh, let's say it's a shooting star or a long leg dodge that usually occurs at the top of some solid price increase. And now we have a correction and we had a bearish candlestick for the last week. This candlestick has a local high below the previous one and a local low below the previous one. So it confirms the, let's say, the beginning of some kind of bearish pressure. That's why we have to be really very cautious. And at the moment, we already have a bearish candlestick, another bearish candlestick with a local high, of course, below the previous one and a local low below the previous ones. So it may facilitate, let's say, or uh, uh, trigger some kind of deeper correction. That's why we have to be really very cautious. But once again, here we had a solid bullish engulfing. Also here we had a local low. So definitely I would say that the range between the local, this local low and the lower part of this bullish engulfing, this part is some kind of solid support for the price according to the weekly chart. But at the moment, we have some kind of correction. Once again, we have candlesticks with descending maximums and descending minimums. That's why at the moment the bull should be really, really very cautious according to the weekly chart. Now let's have a look at the daily chart. Okay, this is the daily chart. We have three moving averages. Let's start step by step. The first one is the 20 day moving average or for the period of one month. Uh, the price has been mainly below this moving average since the beginning of this correction or since the beginning of the year. Of course, here we had a period of time when the price was above this moving average, but recently earlier this week, the price has dropped actually this week below the 20 day moving average and it has resumed the bearish sentiment. That's why we have to be really very cautious. Now let's add the 60 days moving average or for the period of one quarter or three months. Okay, this is the one quarter moving average. The price dropped below the one quarter moving average earlier this year. Even we had this bearish moving average crossover. Now the price uh, drop again or is trying or is testing, let's say, the one quarter moving average. That's why we have to be really very cautious. But here we have this, let's say, bullish moving average crossover. So here we had a bearish moving average crossover. Here we have a bullish moving average crossover. The one quarter moving average. This one is now below the 20 day moving average or the one month moving average is above the one quarter or three month moving average. So we have a bullish moving average crossover. So this is small bullish signal. But if we add the 200 moving or 200 day moving average or for the period of nine months or uh, three quarters, we see that the price is below at the moment this key moving average since the beginning of the solid price increase, the price has been mainly above this, the green moving average. It has dropped below the moving average earlier this year. So since the beginning of the year, let's say it has been uh, below this moving average. And I would like to say that uh, definitely at the moment, it seems that all these three moving averages are at a similar level and they're starting to uh, starting to move sideways. And I want to say that in my view, the current distribution of these three moving average that are moving sideways, that are almost at the same level, confirms a potentially, let's say, likely scenario that we will see some kind of broad consolidation, at least in my view. 
according to these moving averages as well. Because we don't have this bullish moving average distribution where at the top is the 20 day moving average, then the 60 days moving average, then the 200 day moving average. The moving averages are uh, moving sideways at first sight chaotically. That's why I think that the most likely scenario at the moment in the daily time frame is some kind of broad range. So we have to be really very cautious. And if we have a look at the four hour chart, this was the uptrend below the two ascending green lines. Then we had a downtrend or correction. The price has exited this correction. And this is a confirmation that the price is starting to receive support here. And that's why I think that uh, some kind of broad range is the most likely scenario be because the price has received support and has exited this descending channel. And this is an initial signal that the bulls are starting to support the price. That's why I expect some kind of, let's say, solid support here at the previous local low. But let's see what happens in the near future. Definitely, the bulls should be also very cautious because if we switch to some shorter time frames, we will see some kind of correction here. We still don't have a uptrend renewal. It's better to wait for a local low and a subsequent rebound in order to try to catch the next ascending wave. That's it for today, fellas. According to the uh, about the price chart of Standard & Poor's, please share your point of view as a comment below. Of course, I wish you a very wonderful day. Good luck in the financial markets and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.